Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sierra and welcome back to another episode of Team Titan. Today, I will be showing you the 10 things that I cannot live without. Honestly, when I was trying to think of the 10 things that I couldn't live without, I realized I could live without a lot of things. These are kind of just things that represent me and things that I like and my hobbies. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing that I cannot live without is paper. And I know that sounds kind of simple, but truly, I cannot live without paper. More specifically, my journals, so my yearly planners and a notebook. So my life is pretty hectic. I have to work at Titan from like 9 to 5 and then I have another job after that and I have my own Instagram stuff as well. And I'm a very social person and I have a lot of social activities. So my yearly planner gives me like, you know, the monthly calendar thing so I can write down all my different activities in the day. This was my 2021 and it was like very filled up and used. So I just got one for 2021. And I also have a notebook with me at all times. This is the ladies first notebook that I designed. Thank you very much. It's super, super messy. Like my notes look like this all the time. They're really just a complete mess of doodles and writing. But that's because I'm a very visual person. The second thing that I cannot live without is eyeliner. So this eyeliner is from KVD Vegan Beauty. And I've been using this eyeliner specifically since I was maybe like 13 or 14. Yes, I've been wearing eyeliner for that long. I've been obsessed with makeup for that long. Yes. It's now my signature style. Um, if you see me in any video, I'm probably wearing eyeliner that goes up to here. The next thing that I cannot live without are my Doc Martin boots. Um, so this is what they look like. Very cute, very, very old. I've had these since I was 13 and actually their original color is pink. If you can see, like the laces are kind of purple and the edges are pink. But what happened was when I was 13, I wanted pink shoes. But then I grew up and when I was like maybe 19 or something, I was like, who the hell needs pink shoes? <laughs> Actually, I still do. I still have many, many pink shoes, but I dyed these black. I wear these shoes everywhere, honestly. I wear them to work. I used to wear them to school. And you can use them for hiking. You can use them for fashion purposes. You can use them for any, everything. I've just been in love with these since I was 13 and I still don't want to get a new pair of dots because these have lasted me forever and will continue to last me forever. The next thing that I cannot live without is my Dyson hair dryer. This is not a sponsored video, but Dyson, if you would like to sponsor me, I'm right here. This is one of the best hair dryers I've ever used, honestly. My hair is really thick, although it doesn't look like it now because I used this hair dryer this morning. It can literally dry my hair in like two minutes, which is amazing. I don't need to use direct heat on my hair anymore. I used to use a straightener every day and just like press it down, make sure it's straight. But this one, I can just put it up here and then use a brush and just comb it through and then and it becomes straight automatically. It's literally like a miracle product. So if y'all are thinking about buying one, you should get it. Another thing I cannot live without is of course my phone. I think every single 10 things I can't live without includes a phone. Next up, I have my phone, I can't live without my phone. My smartphone. So this is mine. It is a purple lilac iPhone 11 and I have a really cute case from Casetify that's like neon yellow. I feel it's very representative of me. And yeah, I use my phone for literally everything. The apps I use the most include Instagram because, you know, I want to talk to all of you who follow me on Instagram. If you want, you can follow me here. Shameless plug. <laughs> I also use Telegram a lot to talk to all my friends. It's my preferred mode of texting because of all the cute stickers and the gifts and the videos that you can send. Um, I also use Pinterest a lot. So for a lot of my client shoots and my like collaborations with people, I use Pinterest so that I can have a mood board of what I want the photo to look like, what I want my outfit to look like, and then from there, I have a clearer vision of what I should shoot. So along with my phone, another thing that I can't live without are my earphones. Um, these are my AirPods, and then these are my JBL earphones. Both of them I love very, very much, but just like Kevin, I carry two around with me at all times. I carry two of your piece, by the way. I love music. I love using Spotify and I have many, many playlists on it. So if one dies on me, I have the other one. And if the other one dies on me, I have another. I listen to music at work, when I'm on the way to work, when I'm going home from work, when I'm gonna on the way to hang out with friends. And I also dance a lot. So these are great. They're both wireless, so they just stay in my ear when I'm like trying to move around and stuff. I listen to a lot of chill R&B, a lot of hip hop, a lot of rap. Right now, the song that I keep repeating is Pesos by ASAP Rocky. Another thing that I cannot live without currently is my cocktail making set. 
Um, a friend of mine bought this for me because I recently just started working at a bar. It's like a little side project for me, a little passion project that I like. It's really fun to mix flavors and different flavor profiles that I taste and I'm like, mm, that tastes nice or that tastes terrible. But I am not like an official, official bartender, so please don't call me out if my technique is wrong. This is a single tin shaker, which means there's one tin and one cap. Normally, you only shake citrus or egg white. You put it inside and then you just shake down. Like you're supposed to hit it down. These are your little nozzles. You pop them in any bottle you want. I use them a lot for like lemon and simple sugar. This is a strainer that you put on top of the thing. It just slides in like that. If you have any mint leaves or like egg whites on top, then you just pour it out like that. We have a jigger and a pony. Just your shot measurement thing. I'm really scared that I get anything wrong. And then people watch this and they're like, no! So yeah, it's my little cocktail making set. You know, after a long day at work, if I want to make myself a non-alcoholic drink, I use this as well. So the next thing I can't live without are candles. So the sense of smell is my favourite sense. I love it so much. I think that a single smell can make you feel so nostalgic for something that has happened in your past more than any like visual stimulation or whatever. I love anything that smells nice, diffuses, whatever, yeah. Since young, I've always had candles in my house. For Christmas, we light them. For Chinese New Year, we light them. When it's a birthday, we light them. And when my dad meditates every morning, he lights them. So I have my very own that I keep next to my bedside and I light every night. The next thing that I have are my film cameras. So I have this one with me today, but I actually have another point and shoot that I use a lot more at home. So this is an SLR film camera. It is a Pentax Spotmatic and it's really, really cool because I've had a point and shoot for quite some time now and that's been easy because you just point it there and you shoot. But this has an auto focus, it has auto aperture, so anything that you want to customize with the settings with this. One more thing I cannot live without are my nails. And I know that sounds very, very stupid, but it is true. Everyone has nails, but my nails are very, very important to me. If you guys haven't seen, you can click here, but I did an entire Ladies First video about how I'm a chronic nail biter and I cannot stop biting my nails. So for the last two years, I've been going back and forth to Nailgasm, who have given me extensions, who have done my nails in very, very pretty and extravagant ways. So the designs that I normally get are from Pinterest, but I do anything that's really bright coloured or really interesting and different. Like right now, I have tiny naked ladies on my nails. Um, they look a bit wet right now because I've had these on for quite some time, but I'm planning to go back soon and get them redone for Chinese New Year. And I'm very excited for that. So yeah, these are the 10 things that I cannot live without. I think there's a pretty big range of things here because I am quite a versatile person. I like doing this all the way to that and I am a Gemini, so that makes a lot of sense. I'm not actually a Gemini, I'm a Gemini moon. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Team Titan. Comment down below on what else you want us to do next. Click here to subscribe and click here to watch our latest video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!